Hey, how's it going guys? Technotus here, and Apple just came out with a really awesome design phone, the iPhone X. Now, most of us are interested in that device, however, we can't get our hands on it or the price point starting at $999. It's just a little bit overkill, so most of us are going to have to live with the Android devices that we all come to love. Now, you guys can see that I have iOS 11 skin running on this device, and pretty much this is an awesome theme. And you can set your device to run exactly as iOS 11 or the iPhone X. If from a distance, you guys probably wouldn't even know that this is an Android device at all. Now it's going to come with a bunch of the features. If you guys want your devices running exactly like this, just stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get it. Now with this device, you have control center exactly as iOS 11 would. So you just swipe up from the top and you have your notifications, you have your toggles, your music switches, and everything exactly as iOS 11. Now I'm just going to pull it from the side here. As you guys can see, I can pull down. It is a little bit different as a toggle, but it's pretty similar in some instances. Now if this was an iPhone 8, it would look identical to this one so just take note of that that your device is going to be matching more as of to the iphone 8 rather than the iphone x now that's what control center you still have notifications right up top so swipe down you have this weather widget you have your notifications once you swipe over the right but i do have some confidential stuff on here so i'll just leave it there for you guys to see all right and to begin you guys want to head inside play store which is now customized to look like an app store app right here and you're going to want to have to download all three of these apps right here which will mimic what ios 11 is going to be looking like so three of these apps right inside you have i notify right at the bottom and you have X out of 10 and control center. So once you have all three of that installed, just head into one of it. We're gonna head into iNotify first to begin with. And it's gonna give you a bunch of toggles. So to begin with, you're gonna have to untoggle I notify if that's already toggled on and then do it one more time just to get everything working again but Once that's on you're gonna be asked to allow access to the device and you'll get all that set up That's done. You guys can have all these customization right here So you can turn on control center I do recommend that you leave control center off because it's a little bit laggy once you have that on we have another app for that You also have lock screen and I have that disabled as well because I do have some biometric features built specifically for this device so if you guys have face recognition or iris scanner i recommend you guys keep that off for now because it just wouldn't work with each other it's not very compatible just yet there are updates coming with this app right here so that's very nice and the developer wants to keep continuing to update this app along so moving down we have battery percentage so if we leave that on you can see up top here we have battery percentage as you would with ios 11 and you can guys can customize a bunch of these things along with carrier name now when that's done you can head back out and to go inside the next app you just swipe over to the side and you have x out of 10 this is going to give you that little status bar at the top very simple app here all you have to do is just tap start and you got that little notch that the iphone x would have as well and we'll just log back out and we'll go to the last one here which is control center so you can see that control center is already active on this device by having that little blue bar at the bottom you can customize the size of the the bar at the bottom you can just customize the color and where the placement is so you actually don't have to have it right at the bottom you can have it right on the left side or right on the right side so here you can just swipe over and you would have the status bar or the control center just pop up so you can actually swipe swipe that little bottom uh control center access to be anywhere you like so you can swipe it leave it over here or you can swipe it and leave it right in the middle over here and swipe the other side to actually get to the home screen so it's depending on what device you have but now you have the whole ios 11 look running on your android device you're not really missing out much you have that little notch up there and that's very unnecessary just to have your device having that notch it's a feature that none of us actually want on our iphone access and it looks a little bit silly to be honest but there it is you guys do have that notch up there as well and to access control center just tap on this or swipe up and you have pretty much whatever this is it kind of mimics what 3d touch has so you can actually tap on it and you have your toggles right here and you have a little bit more toggle than the iphones actually so if you 3d touch onto this you have your ringtones your music and you have your system which is very nice as well and of course you can toggle all these and actually ios 11 looks a lot more simplified than what android is actually running and these are all the little necessary things that you would need to get ios 11 running on your device as well as that little notch up there which is just a bonus so yeah this is it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed it and you guys want a bunch more of these tweaks do let me know in the comments below and hit that like and subscribe button guys this is it once again peace out